What's up, guys? Johnny here from Team Ohio Infinite Hunt Outdoors. Thank you for joining us today. We have a really cool show. I'm going to unbox and unpack all kinds of new bass fishing gear that I have for the 2024 season. A lot of stuff that I got at the 2024 Columbus, Ohio uh, fishing expo that was a really awesome show we'll leave links down to a lot of the stuff that we talk about now a really really high-end reel that I didn't get from the show but a new reel from lose that I want to unbox a $500 lose reel it's finally here is it worth it we'll go through all of that uh, so I just want to show you this something new here right uh, this is something that I'm gonna take over the passion project of mine is bass fishing and on this channel we do a lot of deer hunting do some hog hunting do some duck hunting Bass fishing is kind of like the next wave of what we're trying to do here. So um, I'm your resident bass fisherman. There's a few other guys that enjoy it as well. So I'm going to be showing some of my new stuff, looking at it. And uh, I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you think of it. Real quick, guys, I'll give you uh, links to our discount codes. Osteo Camo is partnered with us here at Ohio, uh, Infinite Island Outdoors. You can get a... Um, uh, all kinds of DIY hunter stuff, all, all kinds of cool projects, people we work with. Wedgehead Broadheads, a broadhead I highly recommend. I'll leave a link to below. I hit two deer in the boiler room with it this year and they both lasted about seven seconds out with the compound bow before they went down. So, today though, uh, oh also, the Kayak Cushion. Kayak Cushion IHO15. That's going to be your discount code for Kayak Cushion IHO15. I'll leave the link below uh, uh, where you can get some amazing stuff there. I don't have it in the bag here, but it is really cool stuff. Cushions to sit on if you're like me, you sit on a kayak all day. Uh, and a lower back lumbar support that you can put anywhere. Actually, I probably should put some in, in this chair too. So I'll be reaching out to Mr. Brandon, the, the founder uh, over there, and uh, probably getting some more of those. But IHO15 gets you a discount code. All right, let's get into it. Columbus Fishing Expo. What did we get here? We'll just reach straight into the bag. Here's something that's not exactly new and too dynamic, but I heard good things about this. This is the Mega Bass. Uh, SV3 spinnerbait, Mega Bass SV3 spinnerbait. Um, you know, things are a little different about this than other baits. First of all, Mega Bass is premium everything. They're, they're expensive, but all their stuff works good. I haven't used anything or heard anybody use anything from their stuff that doesn't look good. So you have uh, a little bit more narrow, flashy willow leaf blades here. And instead of having to put a trailer, you have these like tube like uh, uh, extra skirt things that kind of come off of it and um, I heard from another Team Ohio member they threw it once and was on a good bass lake and was wearing other people out that weren't throwing it and he didn't even like throwing spinner baits but he was like it's a mega bass their stuff works so let's try it out so mega bass SV3 spinner baits I grew up a spinner bait fisherman uh, especially shallow water stained water I'm really excited about throwing this um, and I got some you know more shad looking colors to go over there so I actually picked up two of those all right here's something else I got uh, I'm a big fan of the Mega Bass dark sleeper sticking with Mega Bass the Mega Bass sleeper crawl okay now this thing that dark sleeper if you don't throw it you need to and it's more than just a small mouth bait it's more than just a small mouth bait and goby fishing fish uh, of goby fisheries where they have a lot of goby that they eat on. It's keel weighted. It sits nice and flat on the bottom. I've had the most success with that dark sleeper just dead sticking it or leaving it still hop hop. But it swims good. Um, fishes like a jig basically. Whew, we're sending staples everywhere here. Um, but the Mega Bass Sleeper Crawl, again, all their stuff seems to work good. This thing, the same thing, weighted to sit on the bottom instead of stand up what like a lot of crawls. This is, uh, you know... It's black and blue flake color, but there's like a, a almost a June bug tint to it. Uh, so this will show up really good. I've even heard you can get away with these in clear water just because it's a dark, you know, bug looking crawfish thing on the bottom. Um, you can see just how realistic it looks in comparison to other crawfish uh, imitation baits, which still work, but I can imagine this is good. The weedlessness of this looks amazing. The hook is tucked in there. If I 
put pressure on, you can see that hook exposed. Um, heavy, pretty heavy wire hook, so something, it looks small, you're probably not going to want to throw this on spinning gear. The dark sleeper, uh, the one drawback is you really have to smash the hook set on those. So uh, I probably imagine the same with the sleeper crawl, it's in 5 8 ounce. Um, swinging crawl arms, it's, it's very realistic looking. I'm sure you can get some secondary action out of that, so I am excited to use that. All right, this is a company, <laughs> 2K Jigs. I thought this was really cool when I saw this company. They did, you know, if you don't go to these these convention shows, it's awesome because everything's on sale. Everybody's trying to get you to buy their stuff and not the next guy. Um, 2K Jigs, let me just show you what I picked up from there. I, I'm a sucker for a good swim jig. This is what caught my eye. You can see I got a whole box of them here, but I'll show you the one that caught my eye. I wish I probably could have got a box of these. Look at the head on that swim jig. It's got, it's, I don't know if it's picking it up well, but it's got a lot of glisten to it. It's thin up front, kind of flared in the back. The weed guard blends in really good, so it still looks like a natural shad. Um, really awesome hook there. And it's copper tied, copper wire tied. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not a flimsy jig skirt that's just going to come off. Um, then I got a mixture of a box. I got a, a green pumpkin with some purple in it. So it's going to be like a nice bluegill pattern. If you don't throw swim jigs, if you fish farm ponds, um, and for whatever reason the spinnerbait's not producing, uh, or it's it's not windy enough, or whatever, a swim jig that you put a, a a paddle tail trailer on the back of that, they absolutely slay. Because when that skirt flares a little bit in the water, that's a little bluegill imitation. Oh, they're amazing. And then your classic black and blue. Again, look at the heads on those 2K jigs. Uh, it was a, a Ar army. It was a combat veteran owned company, so I was like, I gotta get on that. And then uh, they gave us some flipping structure jigs as well. Same thing, copper wire tied. Some great colors. I really like how uh, the the weed guard just kind of blends in with the rest of the bait. So we've got a couple different colors of that. The second box I picked up from them. I'm going to show you one more time. I just can't get over the heads on these things. That, you know, they say a lot of baits catch fishermen instead of fish. Well, that one got me. Just a great style head to really come through. It looks great, but it's going to, I imagine, it's going to come through, uh, you know, if you fish lily pads, weeds, the grass um, really well. So, also, Power Ned Candy. Another box of those. Power Ned Candy, okay? These are some really well-weighted Ned Head finesse jigs. Now, I wanted to really start getting into a little more finesse jigging fishing this year. These are quarter ounce, right? Um, it's got your normal Ned Head in it. And one thing they showed me is it stands up really, really well. Um, they had a little tank imitation and you'd hop it. And you could get it to fall over, but it, I mean, when you feel this, it is so top-heavy and so flat up there. That these, if you fish a smallmouth fishery, um, that where a big smallmouth like to eat little baits sometimes, I think this would be a really good bait. I've seen some people uh, swear by them. So uh, you got green pumpkin here. One of my favorite jig colors ever, peanut butter and jelly. I love the Ned ring on that. You could even throw a Ned TRD on the back of this, a TRD bait. Or I think you know, a little twin tail old spinner bait trailer, a lot of a, a tiny crawl trailer. There's a lot of different things you can put on that. I'll probably stick with the TRD or a, a tiny crawl trailer. Um, again, copper wire tied, really really quality. You get a box of six uh, in each. So, and then of course you got your brown crawl uh, with the orange on it. Another classic color. They did good again about keeping their their colors fairly simple and classic and tried and true um, throwing the, the peanut butter jelly in there so 2k jigs uh, definitely check them out I can just tell by looking and holding the jig that these things are really premium um, so I'll leave a link to their website below all right um, here's one oh while I was at it I got some more dark sleepers one time I was on a while I was on Lake Erie this is the only thing I could get even largemouth to hit. The smallmouth bite was kind of over shallow. 
the yeah. large mouse was hit, and I I lost all mine, and I was like, I'll never be without these again. So I always pick up a bunch. Here's something. I don't even know how these ended up in my bag. I certainly I'm not the guy to spend a lot on jerk baits. Uh, last time I bought a Mega Bass, I lost it on like one of my first hook sets to a toothy critter. So losing a $25 bait really stings. All right. So here is the. It's by Gancraft Baits. I'll link it. 128 Rest SL. It's called an un, unstrained, unstrained minnow, big minnow. It's a pretty large profile jerk bait. Um, I got four of these. I don't remember buying them. I don't know how they ended up in my bag. I went over and over in my mind. Did I scrape them in my bag accidentally? What? I don't know. I don't think I could have because I didn't have the shopping bag with me when I was over by these guys. So uh, the Mega Bass guys, like Oliver Nine, those will, will use these. Uh, so you know they're probably pretty high quality. They come with a replaceable lip. So you can replace the lip. And you can also put a deep diving lip on these, as far as I understand. it. So it has a replaceable lip. Um, you can hear, they're pretty, like, you can see the BBs in there. They're large bearing. They're a large, uh, large um, knocking bait. So the sound of this is going to be a pretty loud one. Something if you're going to try to get aggressive fish, pulling fish uh, from a little bit of a distance. You hear that? Those are loud, big bearings in there. Um, you see them in the back there. And it weight transfers as well. You always like that in a jerk bait that they go forward. So when you when you you're hanging here and you cast it, you know it's that they can stay in that back end. And a weight transfer uh, is the goal to help sling that jerk bait even further. So I like it. I mean, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna try them out and see, you know. I mean, that's not something I usually spend money on, but is high dollar jerk baits, but it comes with the replaceable lip there. So I have four of them, uh, <laughs> four of them now. So maybe, and uh, maybe it'll hurt less when I lose one. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll make me a better jerk bait fisherman because I kind of am playing with house money there. Shout out to Gancraft. I really don't know how that happened, but you got a bunch of those. All right. Here is, this is the whole reason I went to the show, because of this guy. If you guys don't subscribe to Tyler Berger, his YouTube channel, there's one called Tyler Berger, the other one's Bass Fishing HQ. He's got a company called Fin Fishing, right? I didn't even know about the expo until I was watching his channel and he said he would be there. Uh, so I went down, made the two hour trip, and made sure I went. He sells um, his own gear. The bass hat here, he even signed it for me. What an amazing guy. The bass hat here is awesome. It's uh this is like a real wood, like cork kind of pattern. You got the bass on there. He has different colors on his website. Right now I think he's doing a special where you get a free pair of gloves. Um, if you buy I bought this for my buddy. This is a fin fishing sun shirt. They're made in the USA. Not many sun shirts can say that. It's uh, one of the few that's made in the USA. So if that's important to you, um, pick one of these up. Great color combinations there. You got that sky blue. I think it is important to try to blend in with your environments. I fish a lot of shallow water. Uh, so especially from a kayak getting back in there um, and a lot of clear water too. So you want to be as natural as you can. One thing I was uh, looking forward to, I got a pair of the fin fishing gloves. Now these are for me. And let me just tell you, I have a pair of the the hook gloves. It looks like huck, but it's pronounced hook um, fishing gloves. These are, I can tell immediately better. The, the, the padding it has on your two fingers here, and the padding goes around the outside of the palm and on the meat of the palm there. Um, it's not on these fingers. That's just grippier and feels more premium. Um, it's probably going to assist a lot in, in moving around. You know your hands get wet when fishing. Uh, so I really, the, and, they're, and they're very, uh, now my hand is about nine inches from here to here, about seven and a half inches long. Not a real thick, meaty hand, but uh, I can wear the small mediums really well there because they, they grip nice and tight. So. Um, if you're somebody, and it's uh, UPF 50 plus, so uh, definitely got strong durability there. 
I love these gloves. Check out his channel. He's a very humble guy. He's been spitting distance within Bassmasters Elite a couple times. Um, just great stuff. This hat is amazing. I got too many hats and I'm wondering which one to wear. So check out his stuff in fishing. I'll leave links below. Um, one awesome guy. Here we go. The New River. If you like fishing in Ohio, check that out. If you're an Olentangy River fisherman, they got Scioto River fishing. Very soft, blended shirt. What a really cool Ohio-based company there. So um, I got one of those. And I got one of these. It's, again, Good River. We'll leave the links below. Uh, awesome stuff. Moving through. Uh, more Mega Bass stuff. I did buy this. My father's a big bus bait fisherman, Defiant Fishing. Um, uh, look at that. It, look, it reminds me a lot of the Mega Bass Jamaica uh, Boa Buzz. Um, it's got a nice buzz bait there, three quarter ounce, so you can bomb it, but the head is shaped so it won't. You don't have to sink it really fast, and it's got an extra little spinner bait uh, blade there for flash. So uh, I think my father will definitely enjoy that. All right, break time. Before that is everything I got from the expo. Uh, besides the kayak cushion, you don't need to see that. I got the lumbar bar support. Kayak cushion IHO 15. I did not get this from the expo, but I'm very excited about this. I'm a big lose guy. A lot of people, you know, snuff their nose at it. Uh, they like Shimano, they like Daiwa. I've done comparisons between Shimano and Lose Reels at the $200 price point, and the Lose outperformed it as far as casting distance, um, how easy, easily it reeled, and um, and also weight. Weight was a big uh, advantage. So, lose reel here I have is the new uh, Elite. It's the uh, Elite Ti. So they have the, their top reels, the Hyper Mag, which is an amazing reel. Even the Tourney Pro LFS is a fantastic reel. Hyper Mag, and you have the Pro Ti, the one with the purple finish, purple nods, uh, uh, knob, purple uh, uh, knobs. Excuse me. This is the Elite Ti. It's a $500 lose reel, and from what I understand, it's the braking system that makes the dis the difference. Daiwa and Shimano had some really, really high-end braking systems that lose didn't really care to try to, I guess, compete with. So this has a braking system to compete with those. You can see this reel. It is beautiful. Somebody saw it and said it reminded them of a Rolex. This is, it's black, it's gold, uh, 11 bearings. Just the look of it, now I've only pitched it around the yard to try to break in as I try to turn this around here with, with this 7 foot 4 inch rod on it. Uh, it is, uh, it will cast just fine, all these premium loose reels really sling it. You know, I had it nice and tight to break in this new fluorocarbon line in the yard, side arm in 35 yards plus, no problem with the half ounce jig, just even with the reel set tight. So. Um, one thing is this profile on the side is extremely small, especially up top. Like, if you get it back here to your hand, it just grips so small, uh, so small. Now, now, again, a lot of premium reels do that, but these wind knobs, like on the Hyper Mag, they are a little bit different now. You see they're a bit smaller. I love the way they feel. I didn't know how I'd like wind knobs. I tried Hyper Mag, and I was like, whoa, I wish these were all in all my reels the paddles are not better these are better you got that nice beautiful gold finish it's got an external lube port it's uh it's just a wonderful looking reel i can't wait to see how it performs right i mean a lose elite pro ti um it's super super smooth you got the clicking um, drag you got the clicking actually tensioner knob there it's uh i can't I can't say enough good things about the appearance of it. Titanium frame. It's not as light as the Hyper Mag, but it is still under seven ounces. I think it's 6.4, uh, which is still a really light reel. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm getting in the new neoprene rod thing. I got the rod uh, uh, sleeve things. So uh, I got this from Tackle Warehouse. And um, another thing, um, it is on a St. Croix Bass X 7.4. Uh, medium heavy fast or moderate fast action rod let me see here okay here's some other things i wanted to uh show you that i did get this year at tackle warehouse there are a lot of sales um 
There are some, every year I try to take a technique or two and get better at it. In the past, it, and it really helps. I, I don't fish only those things, but I fish a lot of those things. So, um, I get better, I focus on getting better at certain techniques. All right, so one of the things I bought this year to get one of my focus on is gonna be spooning, uh, throwing spoons, especially spooning docks. Um, I've, it's a deep, if you're a deep clear water reservoir type of place where you have floating boat docks that are really deep, you can use this. James Watson has designed, this is the bigger version, the five inch, this is the four inch. Um, don't be afraid to throw big stuff. Um, but here's in kind of like a perch color and here is just like a blue bait fish shad color. Um, and there's a lot of prism glare to these, uh, to this color as well. On um, that perch color, I live on Lake Erie, so I'm excited about throwing that. This spoon is really cool because it not it doesn't just flutter downward, it flutters outward too. So it helps get up under docks better. Um, one time I was using these on like a, a, a channel, where uh, a creek channel, and I could rip it and it would go back out. Since so when I rip it, instead I have to reel up slack and bring it in slowly, it would go back out almost to the original distance. So you just rip it and it goes out rip it and it goes back out and you can kind of continue that that's pretty cool right um so that's a technique river to sea makes those the worldwide spoon designed by james watson uh here's something i thought oh the other thing i want to get better with this year and i started grabbing some of these is uh i've never thrown the umbrella rig much and here in ohio you can only use three uh hooks so the alabama rig so this is the hog farmer the mini Okay, it only has three places for a hook, so I'm gonna, you know, try and throw some, uh, uh, and it's got some spinners on it as well, some smaller um, uh, swim baits on here, and kind of introduce myself to that Alabama rig. Especially, I'm a little leery about throwing that in clear water, but people say it still works. There's a lot of clear water around it here. Uh, so the Hog Farmer uh, Mini rig you see it's not as giant as a lot of the other ones so uh as always if you see net bait tube jigs you got to get some of those um net bait, net bait and savage gear make some nice goby tubes um and that's a nice kind of goby style color it's called frosty pumpkin but i like it as like a green pumpkin with a little flake in it uh and something else i'm excited about these are on clearance on uh, right now on Tackle Warehouse, they may still be. These are 10 to 15 foot diving crankbaits from Ducket Fishing. Well, Boyd Ducket, we'll go out there and make Boyd some more money. You know he needs it. I'm a big fan of Ducket rods. Uh, Jacob Wheeler, all his rods are you know Ducket series. I have a couple. They're I have some of their old Ghost rods. I have a Green Ghost uh, now. I have the original Ghost. I have a couple Silverados. They're really nice rods. Um, but now he's into the bait thing. Okay, so these are called BD Sculpo. Kind of like that sculpin shape. And the profile's small. The bill's pretty huge, right? Uh, me being in deep water smallmouth fisheries, I have, I'm excited about this. And I'm sure largemouth will love to eat it up too. And they're still like th they were like $3 a piece. You cannot beat that for deep diving crankbait. Uh, so I got a couple um, different ones here. And I'm really excited about that. This is kind of a more natural shad pattern there. It's like a green gizzard. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, they are floating 10 to 15 range depth, two and a half inches long. Um, it's a one ounce bait. So I am excited about this one. I think it'll be a really cool bait. What do you guys think? If you guys have used this or any of this stuff before, comment below what you think about them. Because I am really excited to get this going. So... That is pretty much it for my gear review. All the cool stuff. I think some of the big winners are, are uh, uh, stuff you haven't heard of. The 2K jigs um, and the, again, the Elite, Lose Elite TI. Just a beautiful reel. I can't wait to get that thing out there and uh, really review it on the water because you don't see a lot of people that have sprung for this and a lot of reviews about this. And of course, go to Fin Fishing and check out, get yourself a bass hat one more time. Isn't that awesome? If you love to shoot stuff, you love to deer hunt, you love to bass fish, or you love to do one or the other, you love to be in the outdoors at all, subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, comment below what you think, 
As always, we will see you next time here on Infinite Hunt Outdoors.